okay I know this this left tire right if you look it up here is flat I put some plugs in it but it didn't seem to want to hold air so all right I want to see what I got as far as juice in this. We got this thing on volts DC. Oh shoot, that's that's corroded. That's no good. Yeah, that says. It's got 12.17 volts. So that ought to start this damn tractor. Okay. 12.17 volts it is. Well, we got 12 volts in there. So what we'll do is... Uh, We'll see if it cranks over. I still got to put air in that tire. All right, well, let's turn the gas on. It's got a little bit of gas in it. Okay, the brake's on. Full throttle. Let's see it cranks. Yeah, it cranked a little bit. And Yeah, I guess. I want to see if this will crank with me off the seat. Nope. I don't think that jumper is going to do this. Make this thing work. Because this, this thing's being so damn hard-headed. No, don't think it's going to do it. Okay, yeah, that battery had it. Yeah, I don't think that new jumper thing's going to do this because uh, this thing's having a hard time. This got a gas in it. Yeah, it's got gas. Yeah, we'll let it set a little bit and I'll come out and try it again. Okay, got 14 PSI in the front and 10 in the back. I'll leave that gas on. This is all corroded. I gotta clean that up.
Yesterday I was out here trying to start this tractor and uh, it had 12.18 volts in it in the battery and of course this thing is corroded right here so I got to wire brush that off clean the terminals and uh, yeah, this I think this battery's been leaking. Anyway, I tried to crank it. It turned over, and I had the fuel turned on. So I left the fuel on, and there's fuel in the tank right here. So that ought to be enough to crank it over. Now, I don't know if there's any juice left in the battery or not, because I tried to turn it over about two or three times and uh, it wouldn't start. So I don't think the gas is bad in it. I just don't think the battery's got enough, when I say, uh, oomph in it to make the thing fire. So anyway, I'm going to clean this up and then uh, see if there's any juice in the battery to try to turn it over. Now I brought out my engine starting fluid so if it really wants to mess with me I'll squirt some of that in it. See if I can pull this back far enough to clean that off a little. Now the reason I'm doing it trying to wire brush it before I take the cable off because I just want to get the bolt cleaned up so I can actually take the cable off. That's a pretty good work. I got the post cleaned up, more or less. Alright. Yeah, like I said, first on, last off, so put this one on first. I got to clean that off a little bit. Put all this back together. Okay, that's all. Now I gotta put the ground on.
Yeah, it don't really matter. That nut with the star washer on it has to go on the same side as the lug. So, whatever side it winds up on, that's what it goes on. Ugh. I gotta straighten my back up a little. Uh. I know I could have probably got a socket to do this, but by the time I found it, I could have had this done. Okay, the battery is back hooked up. Okay, I'm going to squirt some of this stuff in that carburetor, right about there. <laughs> now we're gonna see if it starts. <sighs> I'm probably blow the damn cracker up. I don't think there's enough battery in this, but we'll see. thing I finally got it on there so I'm gonna put this up there because I don't want the damn thing in the way all right now as you can see there's no air pressure in the tire so it says 14 psi right there and that should take it up to 14 psi and stop so let's do it.
That is 14. Now I gotta get this off before it bleeds it all down. All right, 14 it is. All right, now I better fire this thing up and move it over there into the, the barn. Ugh. Now, I come back out here tomorrow or later, that tire will be flat again. Okay, let's turn the gas off. Yeah, like I said, yeah. yeah, let's uh, start this up and run the gas out of it. This thing had had so many tire plugs put in it, it's not funny. Got the two ply tire, and you can see these stickers on here. That's what pokes holes in two ply tires. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to tractor supply and buy a four ply tire. And then that ought to be fine getting that off the tractor to change it, but. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay, well, for now, that's it.